Right, we're just back from our Bailey Peak District tour. We've been back a couple of days, washing down. Van, our van, van washed. Yeah, wash the van as well. Yeah. I need to do the inside of it, so I won't show you the sink at the moment. <laughs> it's pretty awful. Um, <laughs> It, just a chance really to have a little reflection on what we thought of the van and you know we were one of the questions we asked ourselves would we buy this van not necessarily that van no, no but that but that sort of layout yeah. would we go for the um, the French bed with the corner bathroom I think the honest truth is we, we probably wouldn't, wouldn't we'd probably no I think as I think I said in the final review 80% of the van I really really liked yeah. but it was the French bed and the bathroom that I was sort of still unsure about. Yeah. Particularly the bathroom. I think that door, pulling that door back was and forwards and yeah. the It's a big heavy door. The, yeah, there, wasn't it was it? Yeah. It was yeah, yeah. that would that would put me off. Yeah. If it was a proper door. But I, I, I thought know. we got on alright with the French bed. I think that that wasn't yeah. the I don't think yeah. that was the issue. I mean that. some of them have a French bed and then they have a door that leads to a bathroom at the back, yeah. don't they? Yeah. So I think that probably would have been better but then that would have made the van longer so we'd be as long as we are now yeah wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah but <laughs> i mean the, the the thing we really really like was the kitchen you know yeah, a, that, that and that I was so like. much better than our, our kitchen yeah. at the moment which is feels really sort of cramped now when we look at it but uh, yeah 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 but no, yeah we really enjoyed, enjoyed it i enjoyed mean the it. trip itself yeah. i thoroughly enjoyed the, all the sites we stayed at the one site i, I wasn't sure i'd like the conkers I think was one of the favourites yeah. because of where it was, the walks and everything. Yeah, we'll go yeah, back there. Yeah, so we don't we go back to all those sites that we went to. Yeah, it was yeah. lovely. Dogs enjoyed it, particularly Tara. I mean, she seemed to have a like a permanent grin, didn't yeah. she? Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. up the top of the castle <laughs> there. <laughs> she did a <laughs> complete loopy, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Complete yeah. zoom is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, no, no that, that was a great <laughs> tour. Really yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, so I enjoyed that. Right, the other bit of news is the uh, before we went, my camera packed up the the Hero Six, which I've been using for well uh, nearly two years two now. Two years, yeah. Yeah, um, it stopped recording sound. It, that was yeah. just a day before we were going away. Yeah. So we panicked a little bit because we thought we hadn't got a camera, you know, a main sort of camera to record anything. So we went down to Argos and <laughs> bought a new camera, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Well, we we've been on in an hour, did not we, about the Hero 7 and whether yeah. to upgrade and that sort of force. Just us stole my thunder there, you know. <laughs> did I steal your thunder? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. You carry on. Yeah. <laughs> so, as you've probably just realised, we bought a Hero 7. <laughs> it, it was because we were, it was something we were familiar with, you know, the point and shoot sort of camera. Um, you can pick it up, you start filming and we just wanted something that we, we could get on with. We, I've ummed and ahmed about getting a more um, technologically advanced camera, you know, a di digital SLR or a mirrorless um, compact camera. And I think because we were going away the, f the next day, I thought, well, it's a bit, bit too much to get used to, you know, the day before we go away on a big trip. Yeah. So bought the Hero 7. I might still want to get a, a digital SLR at some stage, but I'd, I'd want more time to sort of get you used need, to you it. You need to get used to it, yeah. I think the Hero 7 has been absolutely brilliant. Some of the footage it took mm. um, was, was really good um, compared to what we'd been used to. And one of the big, big benefits of the Hero 7 is when you're walking along, uh, the stabilisation is fantastic. Mm. You, yeah, it, you, it doesn't, you don't notice yeah, that so much. Sort of yeah. Yeah. So it's been really good. A couple of downers on it though. It it's locked up a number of times. Uh it seems to have an issue if you leave it on and then start filming. Sometimes it won't start up so I'm having to reboot it all the time. Not happy with that. Um and that that's one of the sort of the reasons if I'd had a bit more time then I probably wouldn't have bought it if I'm honest, but you know it like I say it's a good camera the other issue and it's a known issue with GoPro and they've been trying to fix it for ages is if you use a external mic and a power source to the camera the sound get out, gets out of sync mm -hmm. uh, at the moment I'm recording let me just show you I'm recording without uh, a power supply for it I've got it on my Olanzi um, case and a Lansy tripod but it's got no power supply to it so 
it's 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 happily recorded i'm relying on the battery lasting long enough for <laughs> us to fin- yeah. finish this but yeah. the sound will be in sync i know that but if i was to put a power supply in at the same time start recording it would be out of sync which is mm. really annoying yeah, more than for by March, was it? No, was no, it was a second. second it was a second. It's yeah. noticeable. That's, that's a fair yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So this, so <laughs> this is the Hero Six, so which we got repaired. It came back about. Got replaced. Got we're replaced. Not, not repaired. Yeah, and one of the great things about Hero uh, GoPro cameras is if it breaks, they'll replace it. I, there's a two-year warranty, and they, there's no quibble. If they, you knew something was wrong with it, they replace it. Yeah. So you proved it wasn't their mic adapter, didn't you? Because yeah. you tried that with the little Hero Five, yeah, and it recorded sound okay. Yeah, but we didn't think we could do the whole trip with the Hero Five because you can't see what you're recording. And no, the Hero Five's great yeah. for sort of uh, putting in the windscreen. Yeah, yeah, it's good for that. Uh, and it's nice and small. You can attach it to a bike helmet or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But it, we couldn't have gone the whole trip with, a, no, with that. No. So as you can see, we've now got two cameras. Yeah, so we've got one each. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll stop that one. So yeah, that's the, that's the update on the, the Hero 7. So our next trip is Hawes Caravan and Motorhome Club site. We're doing a bit of caravanning, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we're using the van like a <laughs> like caravan. Like a caravan, yeah. I, I think yeah. We, we often realise that if we had a caravan, this is probably the sort of trip we would do. Yeah. So because we've got a motor and because we've got a driveway awning and because we've got a car, which we're mm. taking all with us, mm. we're going to set up the awning, we're going to take the car with us and we'll be caravanning yeah. for eight days. Although we could take the car out take the car take, take the, motor the van home. the motor home out if we wanted to if we wanted to because we've just, got a driveway on it that's right so we've got i think we've got all bases covered really haven't we yeah just we haven't got a dismountable or a tent no, no, <laughs> but no. other than that other i think we're, that, yeah, we're, we're yeah. pretty well covered yeah. so yeah anyway so we're going to Hawes, uh eight nights um the site we're going to it used to be called brown moor bit of history for you the second time we hired a van to see if we like motorhoming mm. this was the first site that we went to we oh, hired which one of the first it was oh, you, know, you that told week. me it was the first i didn't i said it was one of the first all oh, right okay i'll yeah. let you off so it's probably about second or third <laughs> site so there's no <laughs> history at all really no, no no in that week they yeah. booked us on a tour of sites didn't yeah. they with me thought fell the sites, yeah. and a trout beck and yeah. then brown moor yeah. and we had to find brown moor yeah, shall we have a look at the site? We'll have a look at the site, yeah. Okay, here we go. Right, so this is Hawes Caravan Club site. And like I say, um, it's um, right, yeah, it's right in the middle of um, Winsleydale, isn't it, Hawes? Yeah. Uh, it's a very nice site. Recently um, refurbished, isn't it? Recently refurbished, yeah. New toilet block and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's the reception. That's reception, area. yeah. It looks like a little shop. They have got a little shop there, haven't they? So. Yeah. That's quite nice. Yes. Yeah. I think they've got a games room there as well. Yeah, there are some cottages on site as that's well. That's right, holiday remember. cottages. Yeah, some holiday yeah. cottages there. Somebody arriving. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. This is the view from the dog walk, I think, which is a tremendous one. There's a little video that you can watch from the page we're not, not sure what that is there's a bridge it's in and the a waterfall village, yeah. yeah and then tremendous scenery around yeah yeah, yeah there is that's Hawes the village itself yeah uh, and it's about 10 minute walk into the village yeah and there's lots of pubs and shops and uh, a chippy yeah a really nice chippy yeah yeah so back to the beginning there yeah and so then go on. the Fountains Abbey is uh, one of the places we want to visit Fountains Abbey itself is brilliant. The The mill is closed. There is a Fountains Mill there. I think they're doing some work on it. Yeah, but... Uh, but something's got to be closed, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> when, we, when we go there. When you think Easter, you know, it'd be all right, wouldn't yeah. it? But yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are some fantastic walks all around oh, there. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's really, really nice. And get in on National Trust or English Heritage Card. Yeah. And you can park in the car park with the motorhome. Yeah. So we might so actually we'll take that. the motorhome there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've done that before, haven't we? And had lunch. Yeah, that's, there's, uh, there's some pictures here, aren't they, of uh, Fountains Abbey? Yeah, lovely on a, a sunny day. Yeah, Tremendous. probably when you want a digital SLR to take some of these pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Poppy loves it. Yeah, Midland Castle is the next place we want to be. We we want to go to. 
We've been there a few times before. Home of Richard the Third. Yeah. Or childhood home, home of Richard the Third. I think it's yeah. correct to say, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Terrific views from you go up the top of the keep. Mm. Yeah, you look, it's all the countryside all around. In Middleham itself, the village is nice. Yeah. With the Richard the Third pub. There's another chippy in. in there as well, isn't there? There's another chippy. We've sat outside that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's very nice. Yeah, Winsleydale Railway. That's just down the road from Hawes. Yeah, a Leyburn. A Leyburn. You can ju- you can jump on the railway there. Yeah, and go all the way to Leeming Bar. Leeming Bar, yeah. Yeah, at the top there. Yeah. It used to go to Hawes, didn't it? Originally, this railway. Yeah. But it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't now. Anymore. No. No. So there's videos no. on the website all about it. Yeah. They're having the tornado visit, aren't they? Yeah. And Leeming Bar Station's been renovated. Yeah, so it's doing quite a few work. It's yeah. well worth a visit if you're in that area. Yeah. And it, we'll, we'll get some fantastic footage. Hopefully it won't be raining and... <laughs> <laughs> then the next and place, Argar- a- Aysgarth Falls. Yeah. Yeah, um, really beautiful falls. Um, some Got some pictures here. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll be taking pictures like this, you see. Yes, you will, yeah. 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 And some walks are all around there, isn't there? Yeah. And I think there's the old chariot that was in uh, Gladiator. Up in yeah, the that was park. in the car park, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, up the top there. Remember yeah. that bridge? That's the mill. The mill, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they've got fantastic walks. Yeah. And back to the beginning there. Yeah. So things to do around there. So there's a, a if you if you Google Hawes, which I have done obviously, there's a Dale Dale's Countryside Museum, which I think is in Hawes itself. Never been in there. Which we've we? never been in. No, no. Thousand years of history. Yep. Got to visit the creamery. Yes. Yeah. Gromit. Fantastic choice of cheese. <laughs> Wensleydale. Yeah. Wensleydale itself. Yeah, the actual dale. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of walks and moors and mountains. Yeah. There's a mill there as well, isn't there? Yeah, we've, we've never, never been. been. Never no. been there. Seventeen eighty four. Yeah. I've never been there. That's in Gale. Yeah. And a drive you must do if you've never done Buttertubs Pass. You've got to drive Buttertubs Pass. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's been on top gear so many yeah. times. Yeah, yeah, it goes to Mucker, doesn't it? Mucker, yeah. Mucker. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, never been here, Semmer Water. No, no, no. It's a big lake, second largest natural lake in Yorkshire. Yes. Yeah, half After a mile Mellons. long. Yeah. And there's yeah. a private pay and display area so I might go there. Halls National Park itself just a beautiful beautiful area. Yeah lots of photos there. Yeah. Good reviews isn't that? Yeah so anyway that's Halls. After that we're heading off to Ferry Meadows and uh, why we at Ferry Meadows? Uh, There's a big show on isn't there? There's some big (laughs) show yeah the National Motorhome and Caravan uh, sorry, National Motorhome and Camper Van Show is on there. We've been to Ferry Meadows many, many times before. Yeah, we've been to the show yeah. every year since 2003. I yeah. don't think we missed one. Uh, lo- I think t- two two years ago we went to stay on the, f- the showground site and it's a field and it was awful. Yeah. There was mud everywhere. We were towed on the field by a tractor and, and towed off. off the field so with the tractor. So we next year went back to Ferry Meadows. So we've been staying at Ferry Meadows ever since. Yeah. <laughs> so. Close to the Neen Park, isn't it? So you've yeah. got lovely walks yeah. in there. Um there's a one side is grass pitches, one side is hard standing, that's the yeah. grass pitches. The National uh Motorhome and Camper Van show run by Warners, so the same people who did the Harrogate show yeah. are doing uh, the National Motorhome and Camper Van show and there's 300 exhibitors there I think it said yeah 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 so it starts it, on the Friday and Saturday Sunday and it's yeah three day show three day show it, it, we've never missed it no ever since we've had a motorhome we've gone to this show yeah 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 like say that yeah it says there'll be 300 three, plus yeah, 300 plus on uh, attending the yeah. show yeah. yeah so it has grown over the years yeah have a look at some of them yeah there are loads of exhibitors yeah. there Th- these are the paid for adverts but there are loads and loads of people yeah. there it tends to be dealers mainly doesn't it yeah this like, again like, like the Harrogate. Harrogate yeah yeah there's our friends Toa Frame yeah smart toe people yeah Wild Axe will be there again Wellhouse yeah. Wheelhome yeah. yeah all the W's yeah <coughs> excuse me 
Yeah. Yeah, so well worth having a look there. And you can you go as Dave is, is. There is some camping information uh, there, but I think the the booking for the campsite's closed. I think, now, you reckon? I, th I think it closed. Well, it's either closed or it closes today. Yeah. Um, which is Wednesday the tenth. Yeah. But you can still go on the day and pay. I think sixty five pound for. Yeah. Four nights. I think the internet's gone slow here. Your internet's gone slow, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We are in the van. Yeah. Yeah, and it won't show us how to find it. No, so it's good job we know how to find it. <laughs> it's directly opposite Ferry Meadows. Yeah, and there's it, always so. loads of signs. Yeah. So while we're there, we've got to go on the Neen Valley Railway. Haven't we? Yeah, okay. another heritage railway, but we do like our railways, don't we? Yeah. A bit yeah. of steam. Yeah, that's. Well, Poppy's not so keen on the steam. No, though. no. Uh, took her as a puppy, didn't we? She's yeah. still a bit frightened of it. Yeah, and they they claim to be the original home of Thomas the Tank Engine, aren't they? Yes. Uh, because the the engine that Thomas was based on worked at the sugar beet factory. factory that's right. Just yeah. up the right. He actually will be here with his travelling post office. All right. That so weekend. Have to go and sell out to Thomas <laughs> then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Refreshments. Refreshments. The nice cafe at Wanstead, isn't it? Wansford. Right. I always Wansford, say Wansted. Yeah, Wansford. Wansford. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we went there last year, didn't we? It was so hot, wasn't it, last yeah, yeah. time we went on yeah, there? We went, we're on, there's no air conditioning on these 70s no, railways, and we no. were absolutely boiling, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's that's basically our trip. That starts oh. next week. Then when we come back from there, um, we've got a couple of weeks at home, I think. Yeah. And then we're off on our Wales tour, so when yeah. we get back from this one, we'll update everyone where we're going on that. Yeah. Because that involves quite a few sites. Yeah. And a big event at the end. Which is? Well, we'll keep the suspense going. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tourafest, isn't Tour it? Tourafest. Tourafest, I was yeah. talking about the visit to Stonehenge. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so Tourafest and the visit well, uh, Stonehenge, Stonehenge Tourafest, you know, about the know, same yeah. sort of <laughs> excitement levels. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. yeah, that that will include Tourafest and a visit to Stonehenge, which we're really, really, yeah, really looking, looking forward, forward to. to. Yeah. Right. So so that's it for now, isn't it? Yeah, that's Unless it. Unless you can for think now. of anything I can't else. Think of anything else. Poppy's still asleep. Yeah. I'll just show you Poppy. Poppy l loves being in the motor. Yeah. First thing she does is nick this seat and go to sleep. sleep that's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's it for now. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Hit the notifications icon, and you'll be updated when we release a new video. That's it then. That's it. Yeah. See right. you at halls. See you at halls. Bye then. Bye then. <laughs>